Hey guys, it's Jenny here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today it is Monday, February. It's the 18th. So today I'm at my dad's house. Um, <clears throat> we came here yesterday after archery. Um, so yeah, some of you may know if you watch my last vlog that I've been sick since Thursday. Um, yesterday I got better, so mistakenly I ate food. And last night at like 1 in the morning I got so sick, oh my god. Needless to say, I no longer had food in my stomach. Anywho, I haven't really tried eating anything today because I really don't know what my body is doing right now. <sighs> so, yeah, um more updates we've kind of just been cleaning our dad left for training he's gonna be gone for a week doing some additional job training um but we have to we are cleaning up for him jared's outside shoveling right now let's see where he's at surprise there he is um and i cleaned the basement I had to sweep the entire floor, which literally almost took me an hour. Um, because there's like three rooms in the basement, and one of them is... Why am I taking this in here? Um, so that took me a while. I've been doing some laundry and such. Um, so I did laundry, did the cats <coughs> and my guinea pigs, vacuumed my floor swept the laundry room floor put away the dishes and yeah um i i have made my falling into reading a thon um tbr and i was hoping to film that today but i literally look like a dumpster fire so there's that love that for me and so I need to clean up my room. I'm the, also the fact that I don't know when my mom's coming to pick us up is also deterring me from getting into anything too big. I'm pretty sure she gets out of work at two and I'm hoping she's gonna wanna take like a small break before she picks us up because I haven't even started on my homework. Um, so yeah, that's what I got going right now, but um, this is vlog, this is either, I think this is vlog 52, if I'm not mistaken. If not, it's 51, but I'm pretty sure it's 52. So, um, reading plans. Um, I haven't started, well, I guess I technically have started the one. For books I'm reading right now, I plan to start Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Um, physically, and the anal, can you stop? And plan to be annotating that. Um, and then, if I ever pick up an audiobook, um, it'll probably be Our Shot in the End of Time by Rashani Chakshi. Um, so, yeah, I haven't really read much in February, and it really bothers me because I felt like January was a really good start to the year, and then February was just like plummeted. So, that's sucky. Hopefully March will be better because March is reading month and I feel like my reading tends to pick up around that time. Um, so let's hope. Also spring break is coming up in like a month or two. So, but I'm going to try to have a quick snack, um, clean up my bed and maybe start out a little bit of homework. And then I also have to go down and grab my laundry and fold that. And then, yeah, I will check in with you guys later, but I just wanted to open up the vlog. I also have another vlog to edit, but I'm not going to worry about the day. I have other stuff to worry about. So I will check in with you guys later. Hey guys, so it's 8.40 on Monday the 18th. So I don't know if I mentioned this, but today we didn't have school because it was President's Day. Um, so I am officially home. We got home at about 
I'm so tired. I'm so sorry. So then I kind of just chilled and um, for a second and went out and did chores. Came in, lay down for another little bit, and then I just got out of the shower a little while ago. And then I watched a little bit of YouTube. But I'm getting really tired, so I figured I would film an update so I can turn the lights off. Um, but basically, um, I finished my physical read, which was Wrath of the Dawn, and now I need to pick a new one. I obviously am going to be reading Throne of Glass physically, but I don't want to bring that to school because I want to annotate it, and it's hard to annotate in school because then you have to carry the pouch and the book, and then people are like, oh my god, why are you writing in your book, and what are you writing in your book, and it's like, no, leave me alone. So I don't want to have to deal with that. So I'm just not going to bring that to school and I'm going to leave reading Throne of Glass and annotating it to at home. Um, so I'm hoping to listen to Arusha on the End of Time on audio. Um, physically, I'm thinking I'm either going to pick up Two Princes of Summer or The Wicked King. I'm not sure which one yet. I guess that's going to be determined by myself at 7 o'clock this morning, so whatever book I pick up at 7 in the morning is the one I'm going to be taking to school with me. So I just want to give you guys a quick update. I would read tonight, but I am so thoroughly exhausted. I did so much today. Ow. But yeah, that's an update. Um. We do have school tomorrow, but it's going to be a short week. We literally haven't had a full week of school this whole semester. So, yeah. But I will... Wait, no, I won't. So, good night, guys. I will see you tomorrow for Tuesday the 19th. Hey, guys. So, it is 7.40 on Tuesday the 19th. So... I'm up and ready for school. Just gotta wait for Rachel. Um, I did decide to take the Wicked King to school with me to read physically. Um, I won't, I would show you that, but it's already packed up in my backpack. So, yeah. But, <clears throat> I'm on my way to school. I'm really dreading it. I just don't want to go today for some reason. Like, I have a very intense need to not want to go to school today. I don't know. But, I'll check in with you guys later. Hey guys, so it's 9.25 on Tuesday the 19th. So, <clears throat> after school, uh, I went with Rachel and our friend Mitchell. Um, and, so we went to McDonald's, got drinks. I only got water though, because, you know. But, um, so we stopped at Rachel's house, stopped here to do my chores. And then we went just to hang out because I literally cannot remember the last time that I went out with Rachel and Mitchell and just hung out. Like, I literally can't remember the time where I've just gone out with friends during the week and just hung out at the mall. So, we went, hung out at the mall, and I actually ran into Lindsay. So, I was so freaking happy because Lindsay lives out of town in the opposite direction. She lives like, okay, we live by the lake. So... Up north is my grandma's, to the east is obviously the lake, to the south is obviously town. And then Lindsay lives way to the west, like 40 minutes from us. So we never really get to see her, ever. Like she never comes down in our local vicinity. And to run it, to run into her at the mall, like literally just made me so happy. So, um, and Lindsay's like my best friend aside from Rachel. So that was a literal blessed moment that to have both of my best friends in one place that has never happened before um and then obviously yeah that was just a good day so um yeah Mitchell was there and I really love Mitchell um and Rachel and then we went to my dad's house and took care of the kitties and the guinea pigs and the lizard because my dad is away um doing some job training out of, out of city. Um, 
And then after that, we went to go get blizzards from Dairy Queen. Um, so that was pretty eventful. I got home at around, I want to say like seven-ish around there. Um, so I came upstairs. What did I do? Oh, I did some homework. Yeah, I was like, where did this whole gap of time go? I couldn't remember. Um, but I sat down, did a bunch of my online homework, took a quiz, did some assignments, all that jazz. I was talking to Morgan for most of that time. And then after I was done with that, I went and I took a shower. And after I got out, I finished watching one of Whitney's vlogs. Um, and here we are. I literally just finished that seconds ago. So, since I got everything done so early, I say I got everything done so early, but it's literally like almost time for me to go to sleep um i really need to start throwing up glass um i've been meaning to do this for a while i would love to get to like page 100 because that would just be perfect for me um it would be more like page 104 I'm gonna try that, but I don't know. That's a lot of reading, it feels like. But I'm gonna try to. Good night! I'm gonna try to get to this because. So, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna try to get to here because this is a lot of book to finish before Saturday at 7 p.m. Hi, Nova! Come here, you wanna be in the vlog? Nova! Come here! Every time Nova wants to be in the vlog, she just steps on the camera. Yeah. There we go. That's a qual- Okay. We're gonna sit on the camera, right, Nova? Say we're gonna sit on the camera. She's literally so precious, and I love her. Hello. She looks like a grumpy cat, but she's, like, actually the sweetest thing ever. Um, so yeah, the live show is Saturday at seven. Um, so I actually just got done watching Whitney's vlog and she said that she tried, oh my God, double whammy, Lucy. I knew she was going to meow in distress. Come here. Oh my God, we're getting this double cat content. You guys are so blessed. Come here. Say Hi. Oh, thank you. Goosey. Nova has left the chat. We love our Lucy. Lucy, who is that? She's like, oh my god. Is that what I look like? Um... So I just finished watching Whitney's vlog and she had seen a hack. I can't remember what YouTuber she got it from. Um, but it's where you turn on ASMR raining and it will supposedly like readjust your focus and help you focus on your reading. So I'm going to try that to see if it can help me focus on Throne of Glass because literally my attention span with reading has been non-existent um i have a tiny update i started the wicked king today so hooray for that um i didn't get very far though i'm on page 20 so love that for me but um yeah i'm gonna try to start throwing with class i have my trusty sidekick Lucy she heard the door shut Lucy Lucy she's like God is that you <laughs> Lucy hi <laughs> so we're gonna read some throne of glass and um I will check in with you guys. So it's 1016 and I really wish I had a better update for you. But I only managed to get to chapter 5, which is page like 30. 
before I got way too tired and my back is getting way too sore to be able to sit up. Um, so yeah, I kind of flumped, flumped, flunked for tonight. I'm just really tired and my back hurts real bad, but I did do a couple annotations. There was like a foreshadowing. Um, there was like a funny part because I love Dorian. Um, and then I, I'm doing this new thing with my tabs where I highlight and, and or underline and tab character descriptions. Just, you know, for reference. But yeah, so I'm going to wrap that up for tonight. And yeah. So good night, guys. I will see you tomorrow for Wednesday the 20th. Hey, guys. So it's 5.32 on Tuesday. Thursday the 21st so sadly we did have school today and today was the gay pride day of school so I wore a bright orange shirt and I had a couple um rainbow heart stickers that um the GSA had passed out which is the gay straight alliance um so that was a very controversial day I I thank you Nova for that let go. So, um, I'm not even going to try to lie to you guys. I did get into a bunch, a bunch of arguments with some kids at my school. So, that was fun. Um, but that day's done and over now. So, right now, I'm working on a review for my nutrition class because I have to take this quiz tomorrow test tomorrow um unfortunately I literally have done no reading like at all I was at Rachel's last night I spent the night um and I have not gotten any reading done so I'm kind of failing at this point it's already like the 23rd 21st and I've read three books so it feels not great to be honest it feels kind of crappy that I had all these reading plans and like I haven't been able to go through with them because of just so many I don't even know I don't really have any good reasons other than the fact that I feel like I'm in a slump and I'm always busy it's like after I get everything done once I get home do my chores take a shower have my homework done it's like nine o'clock and so I was like oh my god so <laughs> yeah but um if my sister does not have to get induced tonight um i will be going to my dad's tomorrow rachel's coming over after work then hopefully on saturday we're gonna go to goodwill and route 21 because route 21 is having a huge sale um and then hopefully go to chan's which is our, rachel and i's favorite restaurant in town um so i'll be at my dad's this weekend the massathon live show will be saturday which stresses me out because I'm only on page 23 and I need to have it finished by then. I'm not too worried. Well, I am kind of worried because I'm the host and I haven't finished the book. So I really need to do that. I would like to say that I can dedicate Friday and Saturday to that, but I'm literally going to have plans like all day. So I wish we would have a snow day tomorrow, but I highly doubt it. And I'm low-key stressing out about it because... Tomorrow's going to be such a busy day. Test taking, school work. Ugh. Um, so I don't really know what I'm going to do about throwing class at this point. I'm kind of stressing out about it. Um, so, yeah. Then, on Monday, if she does not get induced tonight, Monday is baby day. So I won't be at school on that day for sure. Um, as long as she's not born, either today, Saturday, or Sunday... Today, tomorrow, Saturday, or Sunday, um, baby day is Monday. So, yeah, I literally haven't read any more of The Wicked King either. I've had it in my backpack, but just haven't been taking it to class because I've been so focused on my schoolwork and just trying to get everything done in class so I don't have any homework. <sighs> so, I have, like, very little time for reading nowadays, and it sucks because I want to be reading so badly, but... I don't have time. And even when I do have time, I'm, like, so tired. So, I'm, like, like, I'm really cranky. I'm just cranky. Because 
I hate dealing with negative people and I hate not being able to read and I hate stressing over the fact that I don't have my reading done for my massathon. So I'm like, oh my god. I literally just realized that somebody took my fan and now I'm angry. Um, but that's the tea. I need to finish this review. Right now I'm babysitting because my sister went to the hospital to um, have her vitals monitored and make sure that she doesn't have to get thrown into labor tonight. My mom's at work. Jared's in his room as usual. Jake is doing something and Charlie and Lexi are playing with melty beads. <sighs> so... I don't understand what's happening right now. Okay, um, but yeah, so that's just basically what's happening. I wanted to give you guys a quick update. Oh my god, and I still have to get off last week's vlog. I'm so freaking stressed out right now. There's so much going on. There's so many things I have to get on. Like, I still have to do chores and take a shower tonight, finish this review, make a Quizlet for it. And I really have to edit that vlog at some point. On top of having to get through Throne of Glass. So, like, it really doesn't seem like things to be getting stressed out about. But to me, like, for my own personal reasons, they stress me out because I want them to be done so badly. But I have so little time. So, I'm really cranky about it. Like... Throne of Glass is a bigger book than I was anticipating. And I spent so much time thinking like, oh my god, I can't wait to get to Throne of Glass. That it just like got thrown up upon me. And now I'm like, oh my god, now I can't get through Throne of Glass. <sighs> so I'm going to quit rambling about my problems and my stress. And um, I'm going to finish this review. And after I finish the review, I'll go out and do my chores, take a shower, and then I'll make the Quizlet for this. So, because I'm kind of afraid I'm going to fail. This class is pretty hard. It's harder than I thought it was going to be. So, yeah. I will check in with you guys later. And hopefully, I don't even know. I'm not even going to say hopefully because nothing I've been saying has been going right lately. So. I will check in later. Hey guys, so I'm just gonna pop them down here. No, no. Hey guys, so it is 7.34 on Friday the 22nd. So last night I didn't end up reading Throne of Glass like I wanted to. I was so stressed out. I was babysitting and my sister had to go to the hospital to get her vitals checked because she thought she might be going into early labor thankfully she was fine um the baby's still planning on coming monday um so yeah but i was stressed out i was trying to do homework figured out i was short a page of the review that is due first thing as i walk in tomorrow today um and yeah so i didn't even get to study that test love that for me um so i was stressed out I was having the kids pack a hospital bag in case she did go into early labor and we had to rush to the hospital. So all their bags are packed. <laughs> um, but yeah, my plans got ruined. My dad said he might have to work this weekend, which means no weekend plans. And if he works this weekend, I don't know how I'm going to do my massathon. Which, I don't know how I'm going to do it anyways because I'm literally only 23 pages into Throne of Glass. And it has to be read by tomorrow at 7. So, <clears throat> I'm bringing Throne of Glass to school with me. I brought one of my black pens and I just have the annotation tabs inside of the, as a bookmark. <sighs> so I'm going to try to bring it with me. I don't know how much reading I'll get done because I haven't really had much free time at school lately. Um, and I find I read a lot slower when I'm annotating just because I'm taking time to think and read. So I really don't know how this is going to go. But I'm bringing it just to hopefully help. It's the only thing I can really do at this point. Um, so after school, Rachel is going to bring me home. And 
that she's gonna go to work. Um, and then, even if my dad does have to work, um, we might still go to his house and just stay until Saturday night. I'm really not sure how everything's gonna work out yet, but that's the general plan. Last night I was so stressed out that I just kind of gave up on my test review and watched Ghost Adventures. Okay, I think Rachel's here, so I will check in with you guys later. Hey guys, so it is about like 4.46 or something. On Friday the 22nd, it's been one hell of a day, let me tell you what. So, at school I bombed that nutrition test, just like I thought I would. And kids at school today were being super ignorant. I don't even know if I filled you guys in yesterday about that whole thing that happened. But today, a lot of those same kids that were protesting that LGBTQ plus day, the rainbow day, um, a lot of the kids that dressed in black yesterday protesting it were wearing Trump flags and Confederate flags on their back. And I could not be more excited and to graduate because... Our school these past couple weeks has never disappointed me more and like I'm not even exaggerating. It's not just that that's happened. We had a kid arrested. We had a teacher arrested. It's just like my school is going down the drain so fast I can't wait to be graduated. Just a couple short months and I don't have to deal with it anymore. Um, so that happened at school. I'm so stressed out about school right now. Um, I have a whole mosaic to complete by Monday as well as sketches for my art class. So I'm freaking out about that. Um, yeah. So there are currently six, well seven art projects if you count Rachel's in the back of Rachel's car right now. Um, five of them are mine that are mostly completed from last semester. And then I have one which is my mosaic that I have to, um try to work on this weekend then Leah's being born on Monday and I come home and my sister had to take our cat to the vet because he's been acting weird the past couple days so we didn't think it was anything too extreme but then my mom came out to the lean-to and told me that they had to put him down and all the kids are crying at the vet and my sister's crying at the vet and I'm <sighs> It's one thing after the other. My plans are ruined for the weekend because my dad has to work. He took on another shift at work, so I'm not sure. We might not even be going there tonight now. So I had to reschedule my massathon. I still have to go live and announce that. But I talked to Melissa and we agreed to reschedule the massathon, hopefully for next weekend. But now I'm not even sure how that'll work because my dad has to work next weekend too. So I'm just really, really pissed at life right now and everything keeps going wrong and it's really overwhelming. So, yeah, I'm super depressed. So my mom went to go pick my brother up from school. And, yeah. It's been a day. I took Throne of Glass to school with me. I couldn't even read any of it. Because I was so stressed out about everything today. And I had so much work to do. That I never had time to read it. I was really freaking mad. But I guess now that the live show's pushed back. That'll probably give me more time. But. Honestly, I didn't even push this live show back because I didn't finish the book. I was going to make myself finish the book or just own up to the fact that I couldn't finish it. But then... My schedule just went in my face. So, once again, this is another clip where I literally can't stop ranting because everything's going wrong today. So, I'm going to update you guys later and I have to go live to explain to everyone that my Mastathon live show will not be tomorrow as it should be. So, yeah. Fun. I will check in later. Hey guys, so it is 1.06 on Sunday, February 24th. So, last night I didn't get home until 
I can't even remember when I got home. Anyways, um, we had so many disasters going on here, like, it's just one thing after the other right now, and it's pretty stressful. Um, anyways, the family went to archery today, so I've been home alone, um, and I went out and did the chores, did some laundry, cleaned my room, and put all my clothes away. Um, I still have to pack my hospital bag and take a shower. Um, and probably eat because I'm getting hungry. But they're, they should be home in a little bit. Um, so I haven't been able to do any reading because it's literally been mass chaos. So I don't know if I updated you guys, but we're supposed to be getting a huge storm today. And we're like on national weather emergency until 1am on Monday. Um, so essentially we're supposed to be getting wind gusts up to 70 miles an hour, like rooting up trees. They're expecting like a massive statewide blackout. Power outages. The wind's already starting. Like, here's an example of how windy it was already this morning. I opened up our door and I was holding on to it really tightly. I was just opening it up to let the dogs out. And this door flew out of my hand and shattered against the house. That's how windy it was this morning. So, our screen door shattered, um, and it's only going to get worse, so that sucks. They're comparing this windstorm to that of the one that sunk the Edmund Fitzgerald. So that's freaking fantabulous. I don't know if you guys know what the Edmund Fitzgerald is, but it's like a Michigan legend. Not even a legend, it's real. But like, it's a Michigan story that basically everyone knows about, which is like that shipwreck that sunk in Lake Huron. There's like a song about it and everything. We had to learn about it in school. So, yeah. Um, not in the best mood to be honest. I was just having a lot of issues with friends and just life in general. Um, so I got a lot on my plate right now, so I really don't know when the next time I'll be able to read is. But at 5.45, in the morning we are going to be um, going to the hospital because my sister's having a baby so yeah it's gonna be really and it's gonna be really chaotic because everyone in the house there's gonna be um, eight people flying around the house getting ready so that should be super interesting um, what else? I'm really kind of getting discouraged by how bad my reading has been going lately because it's like not even that I don't want to read. Like I want to read so bad. I just want to be getting through books. But I haven't had time and there's just so much going on. It's really super overwhelming. Hopefully after this weekend everything will be getting better. Um... But yeah, so I still have to get last week's vlog up because this week's vlog is almost over and I still don't even have last week's up. So yay for freaking me. Um, so yeah, we actually don't have power in the bathroom, the boys' room, or the hallway. My room is the only room that has power upstairs. Because this house is like just... Anywho, um, I just wanted to pop in and update you guys, um, that there's a storm, so if my phone dies and I can't update you, just know that that's why you didn't get any more updates, so. <sighs> I really would like to read, but I just, I still have to pack a hospital bag and take a shower and eat and um, do litter boxes and help get the house ready for a newborn baby. So, unfortunately, reading will still be put on hold. Which sucks. But I did get all my clothes put away, so all of them are in my dresser, aside from the ones that are in the washer right now. So that's an accomplishment on that's a whole other accomplishment because I have a lot of clothes. I don't even know how they all fit in there. I actually don't think the ones that are in the washer will fit in my dresser. So, 
we will cross that bridge when we come to it. <clears throat> so, yeah, I just, I just wanted to pop in and give you guys another update. And I will check in later. Hey guys, this is editing me once again. Um, I realized that I never closed out this vlog. So, I apologize so much the fact that I literally read nothing of this entire vlog. And also the fact that a majority of it was literally just me complaining about my life because this week was so unbelievably stressful. It was, I'm not, I can't stress this enough how much. It was just like one catastrophe after the next and I can't even believe that everything happened, happened. Like this week was so chaotic. Um, so I also noticed that my audio was a little bit spotty. So, I don't know if that's just an editing thing or if that's, like, actually the quality of my audio. But if you notice that, I apologize for my crappy audio. Um, and yeah, so, this is the end of this vlog. I'm really sorry. I debated on not posting this, but I had all the footage and I already had it edited. So, I figured I would post it and just... <sighs> I just figured I'd post it. Um, so, yeah. Um, I apologize for the lack of bookish content. I'm not even going to try to call this a reading vlog. I'm just going to call it a vlog. Because there was no reading at all. So, once again, sorry. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Um... And I will see you next week for the start of a brand new reading vlog.